Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Dr. Downstream channel. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in and watching my videos. Today, we're going to be talking about some 12 volt shenanigans. I have done some upgrades, I'm going to share them with you. And as always, the idea is just to get you guys thinking about what you can be doing for your business to be more efficient and make more money and take care of your family. Today, we're going to be helped with, helped by, uh, hey, Bindi. Is your, is your cable okay? Okay, you're going to help me out with this video, right? Okay. Um, I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the difference uh, in mechanical terms, in physical terms, of uh, how a uh, deep cycle AGM battery, which, as you can see, lives in there. Just a marine deep cycle. Feeding a 7-gallon-a-minute fat boy there. Um, this just came off the charger. I ran this for literally 30 seconds just to uh, just to purge my Curatec 5 8 hose there, All right? So I have my ball valve open for the 12 volt. I'm running just the water side open. The ball valve is closed from my chemical injector side. And that's how the Mr. T system works, right? Very simple, simple, simple stuff. So you could just select either side and then you're running your 12 volt or your downstream injector. So, um, this just came off the charger this morning. We were at 13.2 volts. We ran this for 30 seconds. We're down to 13.0 sitting. Let's see what this thing does with the load. 12.0 working volts, 11.8, 11.6. It was at 11.6 before. So we're gonna do a quick range test here with a ladder saver bit installed. And let's see, what should our target be? How about that tree out there? Can we hit that tree? No, but we can almost hit the sidewalk. It's about maybe... Oh, it's still clearing out. Let's see how far this is gonna go. How far this can I go? Uh, it's hitting the sidewalk. I'd say almost 30 feet, probably. I'll measure that out later. But, you know, 30 feet. My working voltage is 10.9. I just bought this battery, so it better not be bad. Oh, wait a minute, it was clearing out some more stuff. Where are we at here? We've been using this machine here for, you know, a minute or so on battery. You know, I think this deep cycle might be bad. I'm not sure. This seems like the voltage is dropping for it being so charged. But the distance is pretty mediocre. I mean, we're talking like 25, 30 feet. I don't know. I'm running 5 8 line into a uh, 3 8 choker there. Seems like it's still clearing out. Is it getting some air sucked in there somehow? I might have other problems here, but I'm going to hook up this LiPo battery that I got, and I will see you in the next video for part two. Because we're going to see how this pump performs on the AGM, which doesn't seem to be doing very well, versus the LiPo. So thanks for watching. Leave your questions and comments below. I'll see you in the next video.